let's talk about Ferrari. Where does it succeed? Where does it fail? At the very beginning of the film, you see that he's he's got a mistress and he's got a child with her. His wife, played by Penelope Cruz, is wise to it. She knows what's going on. She knows that he's he's cheating. You find out also that they had a son who was killed, and so they don't have an heir or someone to carry on the legacy, to carry on the company that's in the family. But because he has this illegitimate son, that's probably where it's going to go in the future. If he if he if he gives him his name. He and his wife had owned the company together and run the company together, and she's really the one that's running the company, and she doesn't want that to go to him. So that's the conflict, the personal conflict between them. The company was basically going to be going bankrupt. They'd only made like 200 cars, they said. You know, he's told by his lawyer, financial advisor, whoever he was, he was said, you're going to need to make more. You need to make like 400. And he's like, I'm not interested in making more cars. I just want to race. And so he's getting ready for this big race. And if he can win this race, you know, in his mind, then that will make him more attractive to, to people and they'll be able to save the company. You also find in the movie that his main rival competitor is, is Maserati. And Maserati, they're also losing money and they're also trying to race and win this race. Uh, so there's a lot of spying on each other kind of stuff. But yeah, the main drama is kind of the personal thing between Ferrari and his wife. Uh, I think Enzo paid Penelope Cruz a post-dated check. He wanted to buy his wife out. Yeah, he gave her a post-dated check and he said, don't cash it, because if you do, it's going to destroy the company. It's going to basically bankrupt them. She agreed, but then when she found out that she had a mistress and they had had to have a son, she encashed the check and now the company is bankrupt. So how does that tie into the race? Uh, the only thing that's really dramatic is the the tragedy that happens in the race. You know, they've established this this young driver, and you have a little bit of the relationship between the race car driver and this movie star, and uh, and that was kind of a distraction, I guess. And you're thinking, why are they establishing? Why are they showing us all this? That's what I kept thinking. Like this is this is going somewhere, and that's basically what happens. This whole build up to the race and the race itself is building to this tragedy people are killed like even children yeah i think they said nine people died nine people were killed five of them children and uh it's very very well done the sequence it's it's graphic it's it's horrible during the accidents it's kind of like there's a sudden sudden shift in tone like wait are we watching a drama or are we watching a gory movie like final destination (laughs) (laughs) we have two movies the race and the relationship but how is this plot point going to help this other plot point and how do they tie together? I'm not sure. See, we're the same here. I, I cannot make that connection. The most interesting part of this movie is when Penelope Cruz said, I, I will help you out as long as you don't hand out the name Ferrari to your in bastard child. <gasps> I, I forgot how she said it, but her delivery was perfect. I wanted to rewind it. It was like being stabbed when you heard that, that line. Like, oh... And another line that was also like that was when the mother said to Penelope Cruz, he deserves to have an heir. You know, it was like, wow, that was cold. We woke up when Penelope Cruz said that monologue and then, okay, okay, now it's interesting. And then the end, it's like, what the fuck? And after that, they just showed the title cards. Do you remember any of those? Because I didn't care. It says, you know, this wreck didn't affect him in any way. And he was, they didn't go to trial, nothing, you know, he was not held accountable. It's like, oh, okay. What? Then what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we we watched all of that just for this little title card. It's just to tell you the company survived, and Piero, the bastard son, became the you know the head of Ferrari. He's the head of Ferrari today. He did get the name. But I want to know is how what happened between Penelope Cruz saying don't give him the name and him getting the name. That should have been the movie. Yeah, I agree. If I had seen the accident and the Penelope Cruz monologue in the first 20 minutes, I am in, boy. I am in. Yeah, it got really good in the last few minutes. It's not a good sign when you're watching a movie like this that's supposedly a biopic when you have to go to your car and Google who bought them out. Was it Ford or Fiat? And uh, when did Piero take over? When did he get the name? When did, you know, I mean, they did say that she died. We're assuming that, okay, when she died, that's when he, he took over and he got the, he was officially adopted or whatever. But uh, yeah, you're right. There's so much movie that is left out. 
Anyway, guys, if you've seen uh, Ferrari, tell us what you think. Negative, positive comments, welcome here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. See you next time.